Good morning. Well, it's a while since I've been sat in my car in this lay by Neil Woolley. The lone tree that I've photographed quite a few times before is behind me. Every time I drive to this location, I think the farmer's chopped the field down because it's not until the last moment you actually see the tree in the field and it's still there. Ugh which is fantastic. Now, I believe it's got wheat in the field, so I had a quick search last night on Google to find out what stage it's likely to be at, because I don't want a field full of mud. Now, it's at what they call the striding stage. Striping stage, I think it's a striding stage. So it's not the most photogenic, essentially. It's just beyond the actual uh, initial growth. So I'm gonna see what's occurring um, and we'll take it from there. See ya. Oh. Morning, it's very bloody cold an annoying dark patch just there I've had to drag what appears to be some rotting bloody trousers out of the field as soon as you to arrive in about a rise in about 10 minutes might peak out not too bad I'm going to have to go in a bit tighter than I usually do because towards this section in the corner here it's rather muddy and if I get low-ish you get a nice bit of green from the wheat in the field. <laughs> 10 quid, love finding money. Anyway, so as I mentioned earlier on, I've been to Glencoe uh, the week, week before last. I was due to go there for four nights and five days and stop in my car for four nights, but at around one o'clock in the morning, the air mat that I took with it to sleep on started to deflate. So I blew up thinking I must have missed, I, I mustn't have tightened it up enough an hour later it went down again so I popped out my spare as you do and that went down as well so I was blowing them up until about four o'clock in the morning and I just gave up and laid on the base of the, the car rather uncomfortably tried to get some sleep and at about half past four I booked into a hostel for the f other three days Glencoe Independent Youth Hostel highly recommended so there we put some gloves on Highly recommended. Now while I was in Glencoe, I thought, having planned it meticulously, I would get at least four or five vlogs. I ended up getting none. What I need for a good vlog is minimum of six things you need quality video quality audio nice location interesting narrative interesting b-roll and of course you need interesting photographs the most i got of any of them six is i think i got four on one day <sighs> two bloody left gloves Most got, the most I got on any one day is four, so I've decided not to put any vlogs out at all. I managed to get two keepers, which is always good. The first one was 
unintentional. The location was unintentional. The composition wasn't unintentional. But the actual photograph I'm going to show you was. It was a series of three photographs and I certainly didn't expect it to be that underexposed because it was too over, too under and I correctly exposed and I realised when I actually processed them that the HDR was awful. It was correctly exposed and it was correctly composed but it just wasn't a very interesting photograph now the detail i saw was in the background mountain yeah eh yeah, there's no clouds in the sky and B absolutely zero colour. Let's go let a scouting trip. I do want to come here when it's been snowing. That field with lots and lots of snowing would be absolutely gorgeous. I do like the ridge line behind it. The lovely nice clean sweeping ridge line that works really really well but I'm definitely going to come back here there's just something about this place that really makes me feel uplifted some frost in the field as well and my hands are freezing I checked both gloves as well unfortunately they're both seal skin what I need to do is put them on and then put them in the bag I'm determined to camp above should I say, I'm determined to camp on this mountain. So this is me just trying to climb up for a view of the Buchel, but the wind was horrendous and the going was treacherous. So I took the decision to go back down and live to fight another day. To photograph the Buchel. Ideally in snow. Come on, come on, something, something, something. It really is strange and exciting and wonderful and amazing how this tree just changes over the coming months from this essentially mud to golden colours with a tree with vibrant greens really is spectacular and I do have a tendency why did I change my voice then to get very emotional and very almost poetic when I'm out taking photographs oh my feet are freezing as well oh this is awesome photography awesome I think I think that's it This vlog will never make the internet